it occurs to me that when I read Sally Thomas's Hermit Poem, I forgot to say that that poem can be found in Trinity House Review, one of a number of new magazines that has a special interest in formal poetry. Uh, some of the others are North American Anglican and the brand new Grand Little Things. Um, today I'd like to read a poem from North American Anglican. This is by Daniel Sheehan, who is a journalist in Eastern Pennsylvania. He's published in a number of online magazines and others, um, and in some illustrated booklets by the Press Prehensile Pencil Publications, say that 10 times, New Feral Press of New York. This is a sonnet. This is a English or Shakespearean sonnet with the three quatrains and couplet at the close. And it's a situation that we are all very familiar with. The end of school and a pronounced melancholy mood. The poem itself has a mixture of very tight rhymes like boys and toys with very slant rhymes like wind and blind. And it also has some interior rhyme as in bent and lament. Afternoon. The sparrow that can fly against such wind deserves a spot in memory's museum. Likewise, the sunbeams on the bedroom blind slanted just so, a light preserved from autumn, intruding its chill upon mid-June. As school lets out for good, I hear the cheering over rooftops of the kids at noon, set loose through double doors and spinning like struck marbles. And because I have grown bent into the man I am, I hear it as lament. The seeds of grief are sown abroad on this wind to coat and animate the ground beneath these giddy girls and boys, perched like sparrows on the playground toys.